In today's episode, we have supercar chases, instant karma moments, and fleeing on foot. Get ready. The Jaguar driver was observed speeding, prompting the officer to initiate a pursuit immediately. The officer observed the driver speeding, but was unable to catch up due to the superior speed of the supercar. However, at a traffic light, the officer managed to close the distance and conducted a traffic stop. On December 17, 2021, a Jaguar driver attempted to bypass traffic by using the shoulder lane. However, he failed to notice the police officer who subsequently stopped him, resulting in an instance of instant karma. September 1st, 2023, two drivers ran a red light without noticing the police officer behind them, leading to an instance of instant justice. On March 27th, 2021, a car driver was caught speeding, unaware of the police officer in a vehicle positioned right next to the road, resulting in instant karma. was caught speeding, unaware of a trooper stationed right beside the road, resulting in an instant karma moment. On October 7th, 2024, a trooper observed a vehicle changing lanes to the right, seemingly attempting to conceal itself from another motorist. The trooper positioned himself behind the Cadillac and initiated a traffic stop. However, when the trooper activated his emergency lights, the driver, Rayleigh Ortiz, turned off all vehicle lights in an effort to evade detection and sped away. The northbound coming up on the 19. Adam uh, William John, 46 Charles. He's blacked out. It's a black Cadillac. Speeds 115. Traffic is medium. Be in the number two lane. Speeds 130. During the pursuit, speeds reached 140 miles per hour despite moderate traffic and the presence of construction workers. Mr. Ortiz maneuvered dangerously around innocent motorists and occasionally drove on the shoulder, further escalating the risk to public safety. We're still approaching the 19, speeds 100 plus. We're still blacked out. Approaching 19, 100 miles an hour blacked out. Yeah, 
Mr. Ortiz drove recklessly without headlights at extreme speeds, posing a significant risk to public safety. Mr. Ortiz collided with a cable barrier near the 25 mile marker and came to a stop in the median. were taken into custody without any injuries. Paramedics responded to the scene to assess everyone involved. Oh. Mm. You're right. Yeah, I'm good. There's oh. 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 I didn't know that was there. Mm. Hey, Lynn, oh, I need on. cuffs over here. So I don't know anything, okay? No, 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 but right. go this way. Yeah, there's a hole right here. Oh. Right there. Right here. Right here. Oh. When you turn my siren off. The two passengers reported that they had been urging Mr. Ortiz to pull over and let them out, but he continued to flee without regard for their safety. It was determined that no charges would be filed against the passengers. Come on. Walk that way. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Right. You deal with He's him. still right here. Yep. Roll over. Sit up. Check him, please. Johnny, it's the turnaround on 57. Good, I'm good. All right. Mr. Ortiz was charged with the following offenses, driving with a suspended license, striking a highway fixture, speeding, false imprisonment in the first degree, reckless driving, endangering the welfare of a minor, criminal mischief in the first degree, $5,000, $25,000, fleeing in a vehicle, driving without lights to avoid detection or apprehension. August 12th, 2022, this driver nearly collided with a trooper due to a lack of awareness. On 
August 25th, 2024, a trooper observed a black BMW passenger car traveling ahead at a speed greater than that of the surrounding traffic. He activated his front antenna and recorded an initial speed of 88 miles per hour, which increased to 91 miles per hour in a posted 65 miles per hour zone. vehicle stopped in the number two lane at the traffic light. As the trooper approached the rear, the vehicle fled the stop, turning east onto Cantrell Road. The trooper initiated a pursuit through several city streets, with the vehicle reaching speeds of 100 miles per hour. ABS As the vehicle negotiated a right curve on Valley Club Circle, the trooper attempted to position himself for a tactical vehicle intervention, TVI. However, the driver braked suddenly to avoid the maneuver. Trooper decided to execute a tactical vehicle intervention, TVI, on Wendy Lane at Hinson Road while the vehicle was traveling at a slower speed to negotiate a right turn. After the front right of the trooper's vehicle made contact with the rear and left side of the suspect's vehicle, it spun counterclockwise in front of the trooper's vehicle and came to a stop. The driver was then observed grabbing a black backpack from the vehicle and fleeing west on Hinson Road. The homeowner and his family directed authorities to the suspect, who was lying down in the hallway. The individual was taken into custody and identified as J. Frederick Braswell. The suspect had attempted to conceal the backpack in a closet within the home, which contained multiple bags of marijuana, 10 Xanax pills in a blue unmarked pill bottle, and a black digital scale. Additionally, the backpack held an undetermined amount of US currency and a Glock 29 pistol. On 
August 29th, 2024, a trooper observed a black Dodge Charger tailgating a semi-truck. Upon catching up to the suspect vehicle, the trooper noticed it was traveling well below the posted speed limit. He activated his blue lights to conduct a traffic stop, but the suspect vehicle maintained its slow speed and exited the interstate. The suspect vehicle took the exit and pulled over at the mobile gas station. As the trooper attempted a passenger side approach, the suspect vehicle fled the traffic stop. Springs. 1037. The suspect vehicle continued to drive at a high rate of speed, exhibiting reckless behavior as it passed other vehicles on the shoulder. It was traveling at approximately 140 miles per hour, weaving in and out of traffic. Suit reached the 88 mile marker where traffic began to slow and the suspect vehicle had nowhere to go. The trooper attempted a tactical vehicle intervention, TVI, but the suspect vehicle turned into the trooper's path. Freaking move, you hear me? He suspect was taken into custody without incident. Identified as Mr. Penny, he was transported to the Clark County Detention Center and booked on the following charges. Following too closely, fleeing by vehicle, criminal use of property, reckless driving. Also, I'll need a 1011 for my vehicle and his. 